Did you know that ADHD symptoms can fluctuate with the menstrual cycle? You may have heard this before or perhaps felt it in your own body, but we haven't had any solid research on this until very recently. The first study to ever look at daily hormone fluctuations and ADHD symptoms came out in 2017, and it was led by a researcher named Michelle Martel. It was a small study, only about 30 people, but the results were so compelling that she then embarked on a study of nearly 100 women and tracked their daily hormone levels and ADHD symptoms through saliva samples, questionnaires, and cognitive tasks. Martel presented her initial results at Psych Congress in October, and she told me a bit about them as well. But we're seeing very similar effects, which really does allow us to trust these results are accurate, that we're picking up on something real, and that they are true to life. What both of Martel's studies are showing is that for some people, ADHD symptoms worsen just before and at the beginning of menstruation and around ovulation. What that means is someone with ADHD might have a really bad week before their period and another tough few days around the middle of their cycle. These changes appear to be largely caused by a drop in estradiol, which is the most powerful form of estrogen. Estrogen helps your body produce and keep a molecule you might have heard of. Dopamine. We know that dopamine is very important in ADHD, although the relationship is complex and not perfectly clear yet. A psychiatrist I talked to explained it like this. It's about an increased sensitivity to hormonal fluctuation. And that combination of poorly operating dopamine and low levels of estrogen is just a sort of double whammy that makes the cognitive symptoms so much worse. This might also be part of why people with ADHD are much more likely to have a severe form of premenstrual syndrome called PMDD, as well as postpartum depression and worsened perimenopause symptoms. These are other times in our lives where estrogen levels tend to drop. Just knowing that your ADHD symptoms might fluctuate with your period can be really empowering information, but these studies might also lead to better diagnosis and treatment. It's possible that some people might need a higher dose of their ADHD medication in the week before their period. Dr. Winchenk tested this theory in a very small case study last year. All of these women, all nine, their ADHD symptoms got better in those days before their period. Of course, there are caveats to all this, but both researchers told me that yes, we can now confidently say that ADHD symptoms can fluctuate with the menstrual cycle. It is a real phenomenon that should be taken seriously.